So he may just be, he may just have like really bad migraines and eyesight like problems for, or for half the day. Um, okay, so he, she's still grooming him for replacing her. Yes. And, and How she, long has he been in the company? As long as I have. He started a day before. <clears throat> Got it. Um, but he has program management experience, which I technically, I don't have as much. I certainly don't have as much as he does. Okay. And Sarah sees me more as this real world data okay. person. Okay. So is this, who has this role now or is this be a role, a directorship so that'd be created for you? It'd be a directorship that was created for me once Michael builds out his um, digital platform that I'm piloting with him. Got it. And the sepsis project is the first one that's going to kind of go through that platform. Gotcha. So the future of diagnostics, right, is digital diagnostics using machine learning and big data to right. build better diagnostics. Dan is just getting into this with the sepsis pilot program. The idea is there's going to be not only an entire division, but product man or product development methods across cross opcos devoted to this. I would be part of that. Team. Got it. So you'd be basically Lily leaving what Lily does entirely and just being a real world data clinical expert or research person. Yeah. That's okay. So now if you go that route, I mean it would seem to me that's where the whole company is going. Yes, the industry, that's where I would like to be. And you would be their person for that. It seems like you'd be a VP pretty damn quick. Yes, could be. Definitely could be. Now and, and I mean and Sarah and Lily are both that's why they're moving me into these industry workshops because they want me to be an industry leader. Like industry leader at the yeah. end. Affecting FDA. And that's no, what they want. That's great. I know, and, and that because that's what Sarah that's what Sarah's like. She's like, you know, one of the big things I want out of you, like me or whatever, is to lead What the fuck are you giving you all this time I know, to move it, over yeah. and you waited to the last minute, you dipshit. Sorry. But uh, to to like bring the executives on this passionate venture with us, so infect to them, infect them with the knowledge and passion that of, of real world data and what it can do. I mean, why would you have to convince investors? I mean, are you looking to? No, uh, executives, executives. Got it. So you have to convince the board. You have to convince the yeah, Danaher, Danaher executives, yeah. Not necessarily the board. I mean, eventually, right? But that's what Sarah's done right now with um, the CEO of Danaher. He went from being like super skeptical, like, what are you talking about? You need money for what? That is the stupidest, like, non tangible thing we're in diagnostics. To this last innovation meeting that I was at on Thursday, or Friday, when Michael was presenting. Chris Riley gave him so much flack for not moving fast enough. <laughs> Wait, Chris Riley's in? No, sorry. Um, it, it, it's a different Chris. It, it's a different Chris Riley. It's really confusing. <laughs> He's the CEO. I'm sorry. The CEO gave Michael a lot of flack for um, not moving fast. The enough. CEO of Danner? Yeah. You were on a call with the CEO? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. That was the quarterly innovation call. There were like 30 people on the call. But it was, it was great. Like he was so, he was like involved in every presentation that was going on. He was giving awesome critical feedback. You know, he was asking great questions. And when, and when somebody's like, well, no, this is what you, and he's like, oh, okay. Thanks for the correction. But he was just so humble. And so you get he to wasn't a, a company that he wasn't really a like, dick at all. Like right. it was, everything he said was to make the programs better. You know, and that's, to challenge that's people. Why he has that company culture? He does. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, well, he doesn't, right? The company culture is before him, which is that's what. Right, the, but it's, 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 it's why he's it's all risen the same to the level. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you fucking high? Might be. Oh, she's tiny. She's fun. texting. All right. Um, yeah, but it was just so. It was. I, I love this company. I love this culture. I told Allison and Jeff, like the next place you guys go that for culture and make sure it's beyond it's bigger than one person. Yeah, that's my recommendation to anybody. Although the small the small company is a really good really good experience to wear a lot
you ever get a chance to hire? You know? Oh, I'd hire Lily back. Uh, huh? I'd hire Lily back. Lily on the board mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring her back from Boston. Yeah, she's been trying to get back into California. <laughs> The company well, she's, she's still with school in Jersey. No, she just graduated. The company she's with, um, uh, they've got offices in San Diego. She did that on purpose. <laughs> she, did what? she did that on purpose. Um, no, Jeff. Maybe not for whatever, but I mean, there's. I bet you could find a place. Maybe not in a clinical situation, but even if it gets to the point where, like, frankly, you need a personal assistant or you need. I would you know, love some to sort have of Jeff somehow. Yeah. Um, he is driven. He's so smart. Mm -hmm. He's incredibly professional. He devotes himself to the work he does. Somebody sleeping. Mm -hmm. Do you want him or her? I think we all just probably take a nap in the car. Look at her. That Lily's growing. Her name is Guyan. She's Chinese. She's been with Lily a long time. Lily's already promoted her to manager this year. So she's got teams, uh, like a team underneath her. She and Lily speak the same language. They speak Beckman language. Um, I think and Guyan does a great job of um, following all the SOPs to the team. And um, yeah. So. If Guyan gets, I, I'm more than happy if that's her choice. Because again, I think there's more breadth for me. Like I was going to go and be Lily's job to learn and then hopefully move beyond it, right? Because I'm thinking like if I get Lily's job, I'm just changing her entire department. I'm upgrading it. So maybe it's better if Julia gets the job. If Julia gets the job, I yeah. agree. I think so. I think she's a better fit for Lily. Um, I mean, I don't know her limits, but if she's if she can be a director, like I think she's a good fit with Lily. Well, Lily's gonna be leaving, so why a good fit with Lily is important. Her culture, the culture she's built with that. Change throughout Danaher and Beckman and the other opcos in their clinical research procedures at from a the, different position. Right? Yes. So would you then work directly for Danaher then? Yeah, that's the goal. Work for the clinical. Well, if you start your own platform. directorship, you'd have your own starting your own department, right? Uh, you'd, you'd have some VP, but you wouldn't have your own no, no. department. Yeah. Wow. Just totally didn't even try to stop at that stop the stoplight. Just blew her right through it. Didn't even tap the brakes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Because he won the game of chicken with a stoplight. He's like, red? Boom, 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 boom. He's still went through it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 